There's an old romantic saying that says, if you love somebody, set them free. In my opinion, if you love somebody, serve them rigatoni carbonara. This pasta is having a renaissance. It's the type of dish that's so soul satisfying and so wonderful to share. It makes for a really simple but elegant Roman pasta. The most important thing with this dish, and it's the case with all pasta, is to cook in a large volume of rapidly boiling salted water. During the first couple minutes, the pasta, which is made with flour, gives off some of that starch into the water itself. So if you cook in a really crowded pot, they're actually not soaking in water, they're soaking in starchy, floury mess, and that's why your pasta isn't going to taste right and it's not gonna have the right texture. What you want is to have pasta that has holes in it to absorb the sauce, but still remain separate. So, hence the rigatoni. While your pasta is cooking, I've got some beautiful pancetta that's been sliced. I'm just gonna put these strips right in to the pan itself. And I also love using some guanciale. And I'm just gonna cut quarter inch by quarter inch strips and then just cut it in quarter inch intervals. But this fat is gonna provide the salty herbal porcine backbone of the sauce. We're just gonna let that cook away and get smoky and toasty. We have our egg yolks at the ready. We have our whole egg. I have a cup for my reserved pasta water. I have the classic pasta cheese, Pecorino alla Romana. Let's just help out this by adding a teaspoon of olive oil. I'm gonna add some chili flake. We're making a, a soft, beautiful, crisp, tender piece of cured pork fat in this pan, suitable for eating with pasta. Now at this point, I don't want my pork products or my chilies to toast anymore. So all you have to do is lower your heat, drain my noodles, raise the heat back up on my pan with the pancetta and those other ingredients in there. Add those noodles. I'm not afraid of that extra pasta water. While that's hot, I'm gonna blend my egg yolks and single egg. Sprinkle my cheese, kill the heat. Add my egg and let the egg and the oil come together for that beautiful sauce. Adding a little water. I'm actually thickening that water with the egg itself and that gorgeous cheese. And you can see here at the bottom, we have that beautiful sauce, a nice healthy dose of black pepper. Use a spoon when you're serving this so you get all of that wonderful sauce. A little bit of cheese on top. So there you have it. Perfect, honest, authentic pasta carbonara.